Hey, Dr. Osborne here. And I got a question from one of our viewers today. Linda wants to know, what is the function or the purpose of the gallbladder? This is a great question because so many of you probably watching this have had your gallbladders removed. And this is one of the biggest questions we get. What do I do? How do I support my digestion if my gallbladder has been removed? So let's back up just a minute. What is the function of the gallbladder? The gallbladder is a little tiny sac-like organ that sits on your liver. So what happens is your liver produces a compound or substance known as bile. Now bile or bile acid is stored in the gallbladder and so when you eat food there's a hormonal message that triggers the gallbladder to contract and when the gallbladder contract it's like a little muscular sac it expels or it excretes bile acids into your small intestine so there's a duct called the common bile duct that, that attaches to your gallbladder and it again it pushes bile into your small intestine now what does bile do Bile is, is, it does an action called saponification or emulsification. It basically, it takes things that are fat and it wraps around them and turns them into water soluble. Okay, so it converts fats into water soluble agents. And why does it do that? Because when things are water soluble, we can absorb them across the, the gut a lot easier. So bile's job is to emulsify or turn fat into a water soluble substance that can be better absorbed. So if you're not properly producing bile, or if you've got a, a, a gallstone that's blocking your bile production, or if you've had your gallbladder removed, understand that what happens next is you might not be as efficient at excreting bile into your small intestine, and therefore that can cause problems with fat absorption. Remember, there's lots of different kinds of fats, but particularly it can cause problems with vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, and omega-3 fatty acids. Those five fats are essential. Your body can't produce them, so you have to absorb them from the food that you eat. But if you're lacking a gallbladder, this can, this can be a bigger challenge for you. So that's really the rub. That's the problem with having your gallbladder removed, is you actually increase your risk of developing a problem with fat malabsorption later on in your life. And remember, vitamin A, D, E, and K, and omega-3 fatty acid deficiency, those are nothing to shake a stick at. You don't want to have long-term deficiencies of those nutrients. Think about it like this. Vitamin A deficiency and vitamin D deficiency, we know they can contribute to cancer because they're two major cancer-regulating vitamins. We know that vitamin K deficiency can cause heart disease. It can cause calcifications of your blood vessels. It can cause your blood to not clot properly. Vitamin K deficiency can cause osteoporosis. And we know vitamin E deficiency is linked to heart disease and diabetes and protein malnourishment. So you don't want to end up with these fat-soluble vitamin deficiencies. Omega-3 fat deficiency can contribute to an increase in inflammation, an increase in the thickness of your blood. It, it can also contribute to cognitive decline. Remember that some of our omega-3 fats like DHA are brain fat, right? They're the fat that fuel the brain and the white matter. So that helps your brain to create the substance that it needs to insulate the electrical impulses as they travel, as your nerves are trying to communicate to each other. So if you don't have adequate omega-3 because you've lost your gallbladder or your gallbladder's not functioning properly and you develop that deficiency, that again, that can create a major problem. So that's primarily the function of your gallbladder from a digestive perspective. Now there's another function of your gallbladder, another important function of bile. Remember, your gallbladder secretes bile into your small intestine. So what else does bile do? Bile, one of its functions is it's a detoxifier. It binds toxins to prevent them from recirculating back into your bloodstream. So bile is kind of, think of it as a detoxifier of your intestine. It binds onto chemical toxins, bacterial toxins, fungal toxins that you get exposed to through eating your food. And it helps you to excrete them and get them out of your body. So bile is a very important substance from a detoxification standpoint. So again, the function of the gallbladder to digest and absorb fat, to help you bind toxins in your intestines so that they're not being absorbed into your bloodstream and creating a system-wide inflammatory response. So pretty important functions for an organ to just be haphazardly removed. My advice would be, you know, before you have a surgeon, pull out your gallbladder. If you're maybe talking to a doctor and that's the recommendation that you're getting is number one, get a second opinion. Number two, 
go on a gluten-free diet. I mean, a gluten-free diet for many people is the resolution or the solution for a troubled gallbladder. There's a lot of research to back this up. Gluten-free diets are uh, very, very, let's just say, important as it relates to your liver. So there are a lot of research studies that show that autoimmune hepatitis and fatty liver disease can actually be caused by gluten. And this can affect, in turn, the function of your gallbladder, leading to things like gallstones or sludgy gall or bile fluids. So going gluten-free for a lot of people is the answer versus the surgery. So get that second opinion or maybe try going gluten-free if it's not an emergency, if your gallbladder is not going to explode. Um, and try go, going gluten-free uh, before you just have the organ removed. Now, a couple of other things for your gallbladder that you might want to consider and ask your doctor to test for these things. Number one is vitamin C. Vitamin C is necessary to support normal and healthy bile function. And vitamin C deficiency can actually cause your bile to, to precipitate and form stones. So can choline deficiency. So can taurine deficiency. Choline and taurine, are, taurine's an amino acid, choline's a B vitamin-like compound. Again, these three, vitamin C, choline, and taurine play a major role in the healthy formation of fluid bile as opposed to sludgy bile or having your bile precipitate out and form stones and clog your bile ducts. So uh, those three things plus a gluten-free diet can take you a very, very long way to an improved gallbladder function into a healthier liver and gallbladder altogether. So hopefully that's helpful for you. If you'd like to know more about gut function, I've got a great video up here for you on the Gut Function 101, all the different things you need to know about how the gut works and operates. This is Dr. Osborne wishing you excellent health. We'll see you in the next video.